Hi, in this video I'll show you how to look up a value that occurs in the second place. So if you're familiar with VLOOKUP, it's going to look up for the first uh, value in a list. So say for example, I wanted to look up the quantity of the SKU A18, but you'll notice that there are going to be a couple instances of the SKU. One here, uh, one here, and one here. With a normal lookup, let's say for example I use a VLOOKUP here, I'm just going to go down here and go VLOOKUP, and I want to look up A18 in this table, and I want to get the quantity. The quantity is in the second column of this table, and I want to have an exact match. Right? close parentheses, it's going to give me back the value of 166. Whoops, uh, I forgot to account for the fact that uh, these particular SKU numbers, A18, it could think that it's A cell A18, so I'm going to put this in parentheses. Put this in parentheses, press enter, and it's going to bring me back 166. So instead of looking up a value in cell A18, which is down here, which is blank, it's going to look up A18, which is going to bring me back 166. So if you notice, it's going to bring me back the first record of A18. So what if I wanted the second record? Maybe I wanted uh, this number, or maybe I wanted the third record. How can I do that? Well, I already have it set up here where if I put A18, it's going to look up uh, the first record, which is 166, the second record, which is 368, and then the third record here, which is 252. Now I can put other values in here to check out if it would follow. So let me try B18. And you notice that B18, there's only one instance here. There's another instance that there's another SKU that has two ins that has uh, multiple instances. That's B10. And it's going to bring uh, back the values, uh, the first and second value, right? The second value is down here. Now you notice that it's not case sensitive. I put down a lowercase b, so VLOOKUP is not case sensitive in this case. So how do we do something like this? And that's going to involve having a helper table. You can see that uh, there's a missing uh, column number here, or column letter here, so let me bring out the helper table. Let me select these two columns, right click, and click unhide. So I basically have a helper table here. And what it's going to do is it's going to concatenate or combine the numbers, uh, the SKU number, and the instance of this particular uh, record, how many times this SKU showed up. So that's going to be uh, done with this count if. Let me delete this and show you how that works. So if after, after I delete that, I'm going to put in a count function, count if. And I'm going to count this range. I'm going to start this range, colon, and end with that range. But I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the first uh, instance here, C, uh, this first part of C2. I'm going to put dollar signs in front of the letter and number. And we do that with the F4 key. And what it's going to do is when I copy it down, it's going to keep that static, C2. But this C2 here is going to increase to C3, C4, C5. So this is going to count that range. So right now, it's only in C2 to C2, which is this particular cell. And it's going to count the criteria C2. So it's going to count how many instances of A18 show up in that range, C2 to C2. Of course, it's only one. If I press Enter, you'll see that it's only one. I'm going to drag the fill handle down here to the very bottom. And you'll notice now there's something that changes. Uh, this particular instance of B10 we had showed earlier, there's two instances, right? It's going to count the first instance. But once it gets down to here, it counts it. It's, it's going to count the second instance. Because what's happened here now, if I go click, if I uh, go and click and look at the formula here, remember I told you the dollar signs kept that particular cell reference, but as I copied it down, it moved the cell references down to C9. So it's going to say, oh, look at this range. Let me select this, and you can see it says, look at this range from C2 to C9, and look at the, and count the criteria. How many times does B10 show up in this particular range of C2 to C9? Of course, it shows up twice. Let me press Escape to get out of the mode. Of course, it shows up twice, and that's why you have the number two there. Now, I'm going to do something else where I'm, I need to add the SKU number onto this to make it a unique item. So I'm going to reference this cell, and I'm going to reference a, some kind of join symbol. So I had used a colon, so I'm going to use a colon here and then the ampersand. What the ampersand does is it just combines it or concatenates these values. So if I press enter, now you'll notice 
that I have A18 colon 1. Let me double click the fill handle here to copy it down and you see now that's done. And you see that it's taken care of here. So let me delete this and show you how it's done here. So with here we're going to do a VLOOKUP. I'm going to type VLOOKUP and I'm going to look up this value, combine it with this value. So this is the first place, second place, third place. So I'm going to reference this cell and that cell has always got to stay constant. So I have to press the F4 key to make sure the dollar signs are in front of that. I'm going to join that particular reference with a colon, the same thing I did here, so it matches it. And close quotes and the ampersand to join it now. So I'm going to join it with this. So now what it's going to do, it's, it's going to join H2, which is any value I input in here, colon, and then the value here, which is number 1. So this is going to B10 colon 1, which shows up here, B10 colon 1. Now to complete this lookup, I have to look at, I have to reference my table array. So it's going to be from B1 to B12. I'm going to press the F4 key to make sure those are absolute cell reference ranges because when I copy it down, I want that to stay the same and not increment. Comma, the, the column index number. So this is the lookup column. This is going to be the second column, third column. So lookup column is the first, second, third. So I want the quantity. So that's going to be three and then comma and false. It's got to be an exact match. Close quotes, uh, close uh, parentheses, press enter. And now you show now it shows 253, which is this particular record right here, right? So if I take the fill handle here and double click it to copy the formula down, you will now notice that it has picked up the second instance of B10, which is right here, gives me 488. And you can see now that if I look at the formula here, what it's done is taken B10, uh, combine the colon, combine the two, and it's going to look up B10 colon 2, which is here, and give me back 488. So that's how you do a lookup to the second value or to the nth value. Maybe we want to have, maybe we have increasing places uh, of values that we want to look up, maybe the 4th, 5th, or 6th, or 7th value. We can look up those particular values and bring back a corresponding column of that. So that's how you do a lookup to the nth value. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.